Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman, Bokane, Connor. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week. If you like what you see, like and share and subscribe. Right? I feel welcomed. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, if you want. Don't feel like there's a gun to your head. But if you want to, you can like and subscribe for this content. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Jack, how's your week been going, man? Uh, it's been going pretty good. Uh, watched a couple movies. Uh, I finally watched the director's cut of Midsommar. Like, and it's been like a long time since I've watched the original. But basically, like, they there's like an extra 30 minutes added to the movie. And ba- they pretty much like add in one scene that kind of gives more context as to why this one cup, this one couple in the movie is freaking out and wanting to leave the commune. Mm. And also it kind of gives some insight as to like how one of them dies at the end of the movie. Cause at the end of the movie, if you watch the theatrical version, you're just like, Oh, okay. All these people are dead. You didn't see them die, but they're all dead. Mm. So commune like hippies. Damn. Kind of, sort of. Have you ever seen Mid- Have you ever seen the film? I should have stopped you at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't actually, but yeah. I need to because it, it does look good. Yeah, it's insanely good, and it's also like one of the very few movies that I feel like depicts like a mushroom trip semi sort of accurately as far as visuals go. Because hmm. I don't know when people like say like, "Oh, bro." I saw Abraham Lincoln standing in the corner talking to me. I'm like, mm mm, mm mm. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. I always thought that was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it is always over dramatized and stuff on but, everything. But I also watched this movie called "We're All Going to the World's Fair," which was mm. it was like on a list of horror movies to check out, and it was dur- like done during the pandemic thing. It's all done through webcam and other stuff. And it's kind of based off of, uh, I'm not sure if it's like a creepy pasta or it's like some internet type thing, but like it's, a sexy pasta. It's like one of those things where you, <laughs> mm. <Mama> John? <laughs> oh, but, uh, the, it's like an internet challenge where you look into your web camera and you say, I want to go to the world's fair three times in a row. And then you just record yourself afterwards to see any like kind of paranormal activity if, or if you start to change and stuff like that hmm. and this girl like does the challenge starts talking with this one guy online because he thinks like she's going through real shit but then you find out at the end of the movie she was just kind of faking it all and I was like what and also while you're watching the movie nothing really awesome happens so at the end of the movie I feel like man I just watched this whole movie with and it's got no payoff at the end. <laughs> Damn. No. It was, I'll continue. Um, as far as like directing style goes, I'll say the directing style was cool, but nothing else about the movie was good. That's those pandemic <laughs> movies, man. They kind of suck, right? Yeah. Uh, there was also another. I know there was another movie that I watched, but I can't remember what it was. Do you remember what movie I was telling you about? <laughs> I was telling you about it during the week, but I completely forgot what it was. Oh, Silent Night. Mm. Yeah, Violent no, Night. Violent Night. Violent Night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that new David Arbor movie where he's uh, Santa Claus and he's got to take out the bad guys. Mm-hmm. That movie I liked a lot. That movie was pretty good. Hell yeah. Where did mm. you watch it at? I uh, think, it, oh man. I mean... <laughs> so, yeah you went and saw it in theater right I think it was no I didn't see it in theater maybe Which, I did <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no uh, you fucked me up there god. <laughs> sorry bro sorry <laughs> so when did you watch it oh I saw it in theater man okay 
It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! God. I don't believe you. I said, I said, "When did you watch it?" That time I didn't say where. So, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'm leaving all of this in. You best believe it. <laughs> so anyway, I saw Violent Night. <laughs> Dave, new David Arbor movie. <laughs> I have a question for you guys, man. That's something I can't get off my brain now. What, what is the sexiest pasta? What's the sexiest pasta? Yeah, what is the sexiest pasta? It's fresh and steamy. It's got that Parmesan on it. Okay. So you're saying it's not even about the noodle. I'd say it's got to be a red noodle. It's hey, it can be the, the noodle. Prepared. I mean, we could break this down. First, what's the sexiest noodle? Angel hair. <laughs> Angel hair, huh? Back. That is fine. It is fine. Um, sh- <laughs> As far as sexy, you know, I like know. the I like there's the, so many sexy noodles out there. You know what I mean? Know, I like a good um, <laughs> wavy noodle. Yeah, I was thinking of wavy too. I like a good wavy. Hmm. I mean, do you mean like a full lasagna noodle, like a thick noodle? Kind of, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, just throw some sauce oh, in there and I'll eat some, it. Yeah, yeah, put some width on it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Jackson? I'm gonna go with. Uh, I like that little. Type. I think the classic pasta is the most beautiful pasta of all, and that's mac and cheese. Hmm. I was yeah. about just the straight elbow, so just that it, tight radius. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this, yeah. the C shape one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so. you can really get some good um, f- coverage and fillage with that. <laughs> you know what I like about mac and cheese is it. It don't matter the noodle, man. Sometimes those noodles come looking like SpongeBob. I've only ever had one good mac and cheese. I've always, my whole life, never understood the mac and cheese thing. Like huh? I. I eat it and I'm like, what is going on here? This doesn't like I don't I don't get a good flavor out of it. And I've only ever had one good mac and cheese, and it's cut from a place in St. Louis called Sweeties. Damn. Mm. Yep. I don't know what your deal is, bro. I, I like know, uh, mac and cheese is good. I'm a freak. <laughs> the uh, penne noodles, they're like uh, the circular ones. Uh, here, I'll show Kyle. I'll show Kyle so he knows. Oh, the circle oh, yeah. The tubes. Yeah. The tubes. Those oh, hold the sauce. Tubes. Those hold sauce so good, man. <laughs> What's the tubes you got? <laughs> yeah. But like for me though, it's like the, tubes. the best pasta. <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> Cuz if you're going to get pasta, I'm going to have pasta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best pasta can hold sauce really well, so when you eat it, you get a lot of sauce in there because I think like the worst time uh, okay, like the worst experience eating pasta is like you like you're eating the pasta, then like you're done, and like all the sauce is still there. Like you didn't actually eat the sauce; yeah. it's like you just ate the noodles. Yes, yes I hate yes, that yes, feeling. Yes, yes, yes. So it's like if I can get a lot of sauce with my noodles, loving it. I also like this um, the spindly ones. They look like uh, you're going up a, a spindly stair set, like you know, at like look a, like little DNA strands, sort of. Kind of, yeah, like that. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, those okay. ones are really good <laughs> at fusilli. There's some that are like a tight know. twist, and there's some that are like kind of a. Like just a couple, you know, little. Yeah, I like fusilli. Yeah, fusilli Jerry. Yeah. I was trying to talk about what our favorite noodles are, and all we can do is describe what they look like. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> hey, but I like those ones. Those ones are good at um, containing the sauce as well. Mm-hmm. Now, what's the sexiest pasta dish? <laughs> uh, dang. That, Mac and cheese crumbles on top. What kind of crumbles? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably some bread crumbles, some bacon crumbles. Some Parmesan crumbles in there. Oh, it's already so cheesy, though. Oh, but you want the more cheese, right? Uh, yeah, bacon would be good. Shrimp would be good. Would it? But would it be sexy? Shrimp would be good. <laughs> but would it be sexy? <laughs> would it be sexy? Probably. To me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> nice. It's all in the eye of the beholder, man, and mac sure and cheese that. is sexy to me, bro. Yeah, right. I could probably work with that. You look at them DNA strand noodles that you're talking about, and I'm over here like, all my life, I never understood that. <laughs> I'm just joshing. So I'm looking at Rotini. Knuckle that. I'm looking at Rotini and Fusilli. They look very similar. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the yeah, deal is. Yeah, like more spirally, isn't it? I like, no? this, I like the more spirally. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe spirals. What about like the Spiral. vegetable kind of noodles? Or like the noodles that are like different. You know, there's some that are like. Like, you talking about, like, zucchini noodles and shit? But it's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Some noodles in the pack are regular, then some of them are, like, green. Or maybe even orange? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. 
You guys like those uh, like stuffed uh, manicotti? Those like big old. Oh yeah, needles. The big old yeah, the big tubes. Bad boys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bad boys of noodles. <laughs> I also like a good shell. You know what I'm saying with the shell looking ones that you get with shells and cheese. Mm. Yeah, don't like <laughs> mac and cheese. I'm just gonna start saying like noodle names that I know. Penne. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been manicotti. Awesome. It's been a while since I've had a good shell. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, Bo, how's your week been? Man? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better now. Um, it's I was bombing hard. I was good. bombing it so hard. He had to talk about sexy noodles. <laughs> yeah. It's been pretty good. Obviously, just cold as cold as shit, man. It's been Through ridiculous, that. and I've been out in it. Uh, but in I watched. It. I watched that Adams, whatever the new Adams Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, you watched it all. Yeah, did you like it? Yeah. It's Hell yeah. Good. Did you guys watch it? I watched it all. I really liked it. Yeah. I have not started it yet, no. What about you, Kyle? Uh, Connor has... I've, I've watched one episode. Connor has been harping on me hard every day at work. Like, we, we go to lunch together every day. Yeah. Yeah. He harps on me every day about it. So, yeah. I figured I'd start it. It was pretty good. And uh, <laughs> For me, yeah, yeah, specifically. Yeah, just driving, man, out there in the cold, obviously working. has been a real, real joy. Were you just trying to high-five <laughs> me with your foot, dude? <laughs> 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 I appreciate weirdo. everybody ordering stuff last last second, like all all the delivery drivers of the world. Yeah, you're feeling it now, aren't you? Yeah, it's fun, but uh, too much pressure to take, huh? Too much pressure to take, and you're oh, about to. Oh shoot, it's never too much right. pressure for me. Oh, I see where you're going. With it. So I'm sorry to pick up on that, but uh, it's a little sample of what we're gonna get in a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, I don't really do shit though. I've just been hanging up, and if I'm not working, man, I'm, I've just been staying inside. It's been so cold. It's been <laughs> so I haven't really been doing anything. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing you play uh, Forza, right? Did you already say that? No, that's that's Lincoln. Oh, yeah. that's Lincoln. Yeah, okay, yeah. is he is he enjoying it? Yeah, he plays the crap out of that. So how could you not? I play a little bit with him, but not very much. It's, okay, it's fantastic, man. The only thing it needs is a versus mode, so you could verse each other in like. Like split screen, you can't. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Right, yeah, that would be sweet. Damn, I miss games having split screens. Right, you know, yeah, that is super lame. Like he used to be able to play Halo like four people on a screen, and then it's like, no, everybody's got to buy the game and whatever. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, how was your week? My week's been pretty good. Um, just a lot of Christmas shopping. Um, I beat God of War Ragnarok uh, two days ago. That was amazing, dude. I was i loved like the the first like five hours of the game are fantastic first like 10 hours of the game are pretty fantastic there's a little middle section where you kind of are able to just kind of do what you want and that part of the game kind of lulled for me and then the, the last third of the game was just like amazing dude just seeing kratos be kratos and mess some gods up is just so much fun like Man, God of War Ragnarok was pretty good. My score before I beat it was like probably like a seven, and after I beat it, I'd probably put it at about a nine. Like I loved it so much; it's so good. The graphics, so, some of this, so much of the time, I was just like, I can't believe I'm playing this right now. This, this, these graphics are amazing. Damn, just the stuff that happens to you in that game, like it's just so wild, man. Um, I also went and saw Avatar: The Way of Water. I'm not going to spoil anything. So good. So good. Um, the graphics, <clears throat> I was just like, how are graphics this good? I was, the whole time watching it, I was thinking, yeah, like, this is insane looking at, and I'm like, why can't every movie be this good? I you know. know. As far as, like, visually and CGI-wise, it was just insane. Yeah. It, like, in the first, like, minute, like, you're just, like, instantly, like, oh, this movie is, like, a step above the last Avatar movie. Yeah. It's it's wild. They do what the first Avatar did. They all, they'll have just a huge chunk of the movie where they're just showing the world. And that was a huge chunk of the movie was just showing how beautiful the underwater is. Mm -hmm. And it was just so much of it. I'm just like, damn, this is just gorgeous. Like, I am just watching just visual, like, just everything. Just loving. Like, it was just visually gorgeous. This is like the fastest three hours of my life, I would yeah, say. Yeah, that's what I kept thinking. I was like, how long have I been in this theater right now? Like, it feels like I've been in here for like an hour, but it ended up being three, three and a, you know, 315. 
but man, it's it's so good. Um, I did have one critique on it, but uh, I'll talk about that after Jackson's seen it and stuff. But I I really loved it. Um, it's a must see in theater for you, sure. You have yeah. to see it in 3D. Like the 3D is so good, and they've just had more time to work on the 3D tech from the first movie. But it's mm. It's funny because like you go in and like there was like a uh, 3D trailer for Ant Man Quantumanium, and like the best way I can describe it is like in the Marvel and like a lot of other 3D, it's like you see layers of 3D. Like you'll see like maybe three or four layers deep, and it's almost set up like a play where you can kind of see like how the CGI was put together. But then like you watch like going to Avatar, and it's like a fully real world. It's like it's so different, you know. It just kind of shows you how bad some of that CGI is for Marvel, you know? Yeah. It, it was next level. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about going to, I'm thinking about going to go see it again. Would you want to go see it in IMAX? Um, probably. It would be a, a amazing IMAX movie. Yeah. I, wonder I, how I long could, <laughs> I could go see it again. Yeah. I could go to IMAX for sure. Yeah. Like halfway through it, I was thinking in my head. I can see this again. Do you know? It's like, this is yeah, badass. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I just got to say whales, man. Didn't, whales, yeah. <laughs> didn't know about them. Now I know whales. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know about whales? I didn't know about whales. Whales! <laughs> yeah. Animal or country? <laughs> Animals. Animals. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I, I don't want to say much more than I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um. Yeah. Connor, what about you, man? How's your week been? Uh, it's been a good week. Um, kind of like uh, finishing up on last week. I, I uh, finished out Sonic Prime on Netflix. I don't know if any of you guys even checked out a trailer for it or not. Oh, but I watched some of it, yeah. Some of it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's not going to blow you away. It's a kid's show, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it was pretty good for a kid's show. Um, they set it up for another season, so we'll see where it goes. Sonic is such a popular brand right mm-hmm. now. It's kind of crazy. They've had a great year. You know, a movie, a TV show, and a video game that were all at least moderately successful. At least I think Sonic 2 came out this year. Sonic and Knuck, or Sonic and Tails. Did that come out this year? Mm, I don't think so. I think, I think maybe it came out last year. Okay, I don't, I don't know. know. That might have been a last year movie, I think. Okay. But yeah, good year for Sonic either way. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Uh, finish Wednesday. Um, I thought it was a pretty good show. It was like a like a murder mystery slash like monster hunt yeah. slash you know going to a weirdo school with you know different vampires and werewolves and all that kind of stuff. Um, definitely think it's worth a watch. The last episode got me a little bit emotional. Whenever something happens, just like oh, finally, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I was uh, pretty re- kind of reluctant to even watch it. I was like, mm, I don't know, because I always like adam's family and like wednesday and stuff and she was always so cool it's like they better not make it into some stupid like romance kind of bs or something like that you know or some kind of coming of age kind of thing right like, i don't want to see that but it was, it was pretty cool like they throw like three dudes at her that are all trying to hook up with her and she's <laughs> like no dude i'm trying to solve a mystery yeah. dude like i don't care about so that you know do. yeah so yeah that, that, was, that was pretty cool um i really liked her roommate her uh yeah. The girl that can only pop her claws, she's a werewolf, but she can't transform yet. So, uh, yeah, that's I liked her. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's worth a watch for sure if you're like on the fence, you know, like I was. I was I was kind of on the fence, and then my sister came in here and said she liked it, and I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. Heck yeah. So, um, yeah, I watched uh, The Glass Onion last night. Uh, Is that good? A Knives Out movie. Yeah, dude, I really liked it, yeah. Yeah, Sim- need to watch it. Similar to the first Knives Out movie, it definitely keeps you interested the whole way through. Um, it looks absurd. Yeah. I really liked all the casting decisions with it. Um, all the characters worked for me. Um, didn't expect the person who died. I thought someone else was going to die, but a different person dies. And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. So, uh, but yeah, it was definitely worth watching. Um, probably end up watching it again, too. You know, like I was telling Kyle... Um, I've watched the murder on the Orient Express and the murder on the Nile. And now I've watched Knives Out and Glass Onion. I prefer the Knives Out movies for sure. I just think that they're better in a lot of ways. And mm. I think Daniel Craig 
I that, like his character a lot in the first one. Yeah, I think he does the the inspector character a lot better than um I forget who's in the murder movies, murder on movies, but um yeah, just overall I think it's worth a watch for sure. And it's on Netflix, so it's like why not watch it, you know? Um so yeah, check that out. Isn't that guy's name Kenneth Brana? Um I'm gonna have to look it up now. Um You're talking about the main guy from the murder on team? Yeah. You're talking about it, it's it's the same guy who plays. He, he's in Wild Wild West, right? That's isn't that's not the same guy, is it? Yeah, it is the same guy. Yeah, Kenneth Bronan or something. Yeah, Kenneth Bronan. Yeah, I think that's him. Got guy. him. Yeah, good job. Uh, but yeah, I just I don't know when I watched Murder on the Nile, I I just wasn't a big fan of that one. So, but Murder on the Orient Express is okay. But yeah, um, good week. Haven't really played any video games lately. You're about to jump into God of War, though, right? Yeah, about to play that. So, really excited. You gonna have it beat by the end of the year? Oh yeah, in the next week, I hope. You know, you're just gonna play it nonstop. Yeah, that's the yeah. goal. It yeah. only took me like 27, 28 hours, and I did some side quests, but mainly just mainline that story. Yeah, yeah. I hear it's real good, so I'm gonna do it. That's it. Now you're talking about the new God of War, right? Yep. All right. So I was about to say, bro, you haven't played the first God of War? <laughs> oh, he most definitely did. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. All right. So do you guys want to move into a game first, or do you guys want to go through the news but, first? What? Hold on. I just want to say, people need to stick around for my scathing review <laughs> of a certain company. Okay. Oh, shit. The thing I got uh, for like the winner of today's game, the company involved so terrible uh <laughs> but yeah i don't know anyway that's what I'm okay People better stay tuned are they an evil corporation i don't know if they're evil but they're incompetent oh all right can't wait for this <laughs> <laughs> gross necklace going out on the podcast yeah yeah dozens are gonna listen <laughs> <laughs> dozens <laughs> dozens get started movement yep all right um so, what do you guys want to move into? The game or the movies? Or the uh, news? God. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do the game. Okay. Yeah. There's news? We're I went through um, just a few news topics from the, the, the 2022. Mm. Yeah. Pretty pretty chill year. World, <laughs> world round. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get into that here in a second. Say world round, is that a thing? Yeah, well, they do now. Round the world. Yeah. World so, Bo, what kind of game are we playing here? Yeah, let me just say, this is a process, and it didn't turn out like I wanted it, but I made this. What is this? Kobe dude? Squad? Oh! What? Oh, I'm winning this, boys. That's pretty dope, dude. Yeah. Look at the random little Mamba thing that I found. Biting into a controller? Yeah, where do you fight? Like, Hell yeah. This is so sick. I gotta seize it. It's not even the original picture that I wanted. And, uh, like, I had a different one, like, designed and stuff. But just on Shutterstock, it's a pain in the dick. Any picture you put on there, they're like, no, this picture won't work. This picture won't work. Like, you can't edit it this way or edit <laughs> it that way. And it's like, do this, do that. Like, Damn, that's I don't cool, know, dude. It, it is such a pain in the ass to do anything on on their website where they only accept like a certain file type is that kind of what was going on Dude, i don't know like it was just like yeah the resolution's too low or it's yeah it's oh like, yeah and it's like don't crop it in because i tried to edit it and like you know one uh, like i forgot what i was editing it with but it was like don't edit it there edit it like on the website so i tried that i tried like a million different ways but that's how i mean i was like fuck this is the only picture that i could really get to work wow so yeah it was Anyway, I like it. And that's our gaming like crew we play with. When we get wins and stuff, we we'll usually yell Kobe Squad and we'll, Yeah. Yeah, that's what we've been going by for a while. That's awesome, but it works. Yeah. I was like, shit, I gotta do something with this uh Shutterfly. Yeah. And that's then cool. yeah, it's lame. Like Shutterfly site I had like um I don't know, it's not like a coupon, but it's like a, a code for like twenty five dollars or whatever. But then if you have one of those it's like, oh, all of a sudden nothing's on sale and like everything's lame and I don't know, it's just uh, it's everything about it was 
And there was supposed to be, there was other, I had pictures made up that are kind of, I don't know, well, they're not metal. They're like, just like pictures. And then like those haven't even shipped yet. And like, it's like, what? I don't know. It's everything. Wow. Huh. Sounds like you went all out, dude. No, just Shutterfly sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's been such an easy process, but it was just like such a pain in, yeah, pain in the ass. Wow. I'm going to win that shit. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, I mean, you, know, you know your boy needs to have us on the wall over here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we do <coughs> have a lyrics game Woo. where we're just going to re- read lyrics and whoever uh, can buzz in quickest. All right. You guys want to just go down the down the line and do it that way? or well, I feel it's Bo's game. We start with him and then we pick a direction on where to go from okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. This first one is the only one that I'm like, I don't know if anyone will get this. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, y'all's ready? Yes. I don't know what Kyle's got going on over there. Kyle's not paying attention, so he's yeah, not going to win. I'm trying to find, a, the, cheating in I'm class trying to find my first one. All right, you're good. All right. So I'm, yeah, I'm not going to like read it like a song or anything at first. At first. <laughs> uh, don't let them fool you or even try to school you. Oh, no. Uh, we've got a mind of our own. Let's see. Don't let them change you or even rearrange you. Oh, no. We've got the life to live. Uh, is that, is that Twisted Sister? Blech. No. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I'm not getting it off of that. I'll tell you that. It's on the tip of my Don't tongue. Don't let them fool you. <laughs> Or even try to school you, you know, yeah. I don't know, man. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I should get this song based on that. We've got a mind of our own. Mm. Uh, perfect. M- modest just, Yahoo. It's just perfect. <laughs> um, uh, it sounds like white stripes, try- right? No, no. Okay. No. Or even rearrange you. Hmm. Mm. Dang. Mm. I don't have it. Is that the chorus or is that the a verse? Uh, it's like right before the other yeah, chorus, and because like the chorus, you know, just says the name of the song. It says the name. Shit. Hmm. Give us another verse. <laughs> yeah, give us another verse. I'm Dang. not getting it off that verse. I, I, like I might not even know the song. So, I've guessed "Twisted Sister" Do already. You think we know the song? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Uh, let's see. They say the the name of the song so much. <laughs> say something reggae, reggae. Say something rock on, rock on. Oh boy! Is it sublime? Whoa. Is it a sublime? No. Is no. it a Foo Fighters? <laughs> Is it a slightly stupid? Oh yeah, girl. No matter how you treat him, the man will never be satisfied. Say something, and then, but then they say like the name of the song so much in the song, like it's hard to even find lyrics that don't have the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna get this yeah. one. I'm also going to say I'm not gonna it's, get it. It's "Could You Be Loved" by Bob Marley. Mm, I'm oh. not a I'm big Marley man. Okay, I have not listened to a lot of Marley. Uh, me either. Well, that's a that, ex- that explains that's it. Yeah, I can't think of any good reggae. <laughs> All right, who's next? I could do another one. This one, hopefully, I think you guys will get, somebody will get this. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> you, you know that I will always be here till the end. Come back so I can say thank you for this. Home-cooked meals and a place to rest. My troubled head uh, when you're away. I might have to look up more of these lyrics. Read it again. Hold on. Sounds like a love song. Oh, it is. Jackson, could you sing My Troubled Head When You're Away? My Troubled Head When You're Away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it this, now. This time I'll make you proud to see me over. <laughs> Come on, daylight. Proud of who you raised, your shelter, your peacefulness. Uh, with arms wide open so this time i'll make you proud proud of who you raised up you know that i'll always be here till the end 
Sounds like a George Strait song. <laughs> Come back so I can say thank you for this. Home cooked meals. Come back so I and can And a place thank to you. rest. <laughs> uh, I hope that I make you smile when you look down on me. I hope you smile. This can't. We won't know. Jesus. I'm surprised nobody is getting this. Uh, I heard rest, one of the lyrics. Is it laid to rest by fucking uh, Lamb of God? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I, hope that I, make, I don't know. Bro. I hope that I make you proud. Uh, this is not what it is. Only baby scars. <laughs> I need your love like a boy needs his mother. Oh, mother. okay. Oh. That's um, of mice and men. Oh, yeah. Of mice and men. And I know the. I don't know the <sighs> name of the song. This is not it's what like, it is. Only baby scars. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Once you said baby scars. This yeah. is not yeah. what it is. <laughs> Yeah, when that's I break, nice and when I break through. Your love. <laughs> yeah. So nobody knows the no uh, the no. What's every mice and men song that we can think of? OG Loco. When I been through? No, through. it's not. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> no, uh, no. Um, I know the album that shit. it's off of, um, but it all depends on if you want to give Jackson the point. I don't still know. YDG in it. No, it's still not, <laughs> it's not that YDG song, whatever it is. Called. <laughs> um, I can tell you, it's not the ballad of Tommy Clayton and the Raw Dog Millionaire. No, it's not. <laughs> Shit, yeah, dude, we right. suck at second this. Second and Sebring. Yeah. yeah, second and Sebring. Oh, dude, good job, Jack. There we good go. Job, Jack. Jack's got a point. Jack's got a point right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Uh, here we go. He's so stagnant, he knows when he goes back to his mobile home that when it's back to the lab again. Jackson. Yeah. That is 8 Mile Eminem. It's not it's what the song's called. Or Lose Yourself Then. There you go. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's doing good. Early I'm on, I'm on the stretch. All right, you've done three. Should yeah, we switch? Else, yeah, I was like, somebody else want to do something. All right, do you want to go, Cal? You want me to go? Uh... I don't want to go. You don't want to go? All right. No, because I haven't had time to look any of these just, up. I didn't think I was going to be a part of this. Just pull up your Spotify. To be, find to be a song honest, and then look me it up. either, but okay. I'm just doing songs that I, I know that we all right. have heard at some point. Okay. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. I'm going to have to not say some of these lyrics, but uh, I'm packing up my game. I'm going to head out west, where real women come equipped with scripts and fake breasts. Hey, it's uh, Kid Rock, and it's shit. I don't know, this, I don't know the, the other <laughs> song name. Keep going. Find a nest in the hills. Chill like Flint. I know all these words. Buy an old drop top. <laughs> find a spot to pimp. Um, hey, it's, it's Cowboy. <laughs> Wait, is it Cowboy? Yeah. It's called Cowboy. There you go. <laughs> okay. I feel like if I would have got to the lyric, uh, <laughs> Mac like mayors, ball like Lakers. Is it cowboy parentheses baby? <laughs> no, it's it just cowboy. <laughs> it's just cowboy. All right, that's one point for Bo to win his sign back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking the thing back. Yeah, But, but you uh, could steal points from them. That could be. It's true, yeah. All right. I like this. I like this angle now. All right. You guys ready for me to go now or? I thought I was doing uh, three since he did three, and oh, then we—that's fine. Yeah, just keep going till we're satisfied. <clears throat> All right. Tonight we dance. I leave my life in your hands. We take the floor. Nothing is forbidden anymore. Don't let the world dim my sight. Don't let the don't let a moment go by. Nothing can stop us tonight. Song title. <laughs> Let the rhythm take you over. Song title. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let the rhythm Kyle. take you over. Enrique Iglesias. Uh, hmm. uh, <laughs> Mia Moore? What, what does it say? What does it Is say? It Mia What's Moore? the title? <laughs> hmm. Mia Moore. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll keep going. Te quiero amor mio. Song title. <laughs> Shit. Gonna live this night forever. Song title. Kyle. Dang. While I'm old. 
<laughs> While I'm old. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. He was really You're right on the artist. <laughs> you got oh Enrique gosh. Iglesias, right? <clears throat> he was really excited about being old. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> I can... Now I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you over, now I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can tell uh, take it arrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said take arrow. I want to say. I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's a uh, bylamos. Of course. So do I get the point for that? No. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You weren't going to give me the point for second in Sebring. Not knowing it. Oh, you didn't I did point say for it. that? Oh, okay. I did say it, though. I got it. All right. Last one here. Okay, here we go. Breathes, bleeds. What stands before us is not a machine. It breathes, it will bleed, and it Wait, dreams. It's a, <laughs> it's an intuitive machine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just like saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's body is covered <laughs> in hundreds of wires. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know half these songs when they watch this episode. God, yeah, I thought you guys were gonna come up with some easy ones here. You guys <laughs> like, let's make this hard. This you guys have heard because I wanted yeah. to be a battle. For I haven't listened yes. to that song in a decade, dude. <laughs> 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 really? At least, wow, I listen to it quite often. That knee deep. I listen to those two a lot. My turn yet? Yes, it's go. your turn. My yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up every evening with a big smile on my face, and it never feels out of place. <laughs> and you're still probably working at a nine to five pace, Kyle. Mm. Um, uh, All American Rejects. Hope it gives you hell. Dang, just gives you hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I like it, Connor. Yeah. All right, here's another one. I would have never guessed that song until he said, "Come my way, it gives you hell." <laughs> Yo, this is Nappy Boy Radio live with your boy T Pain. We love rap music. Listen, uh, we got a caller on line one. Caller, what's your problem? Hello, I'm on the radio with T-Pain. What's up? How's it going? It ain't going good. My girl ain't doing none, none of her things. She used to do all that. I got just what you need. Brand new Chris Brown, T-Pain. You heard it here first. Nappy Boy Radio. We love God, what you. What is the name of that song? She want that lovey-dovey. She want that... That... Okay, Kyle. Damn it. T Pain and Chris Brown kiss kiss. Kiss kiss. That lovey dovey, <laughs> that kiss kiss. Mm. Timeless Come on. classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I heard that song a thousand times. All right, number three for me. And tell me if you guys even know what the fuck this song's about, because I don't even know. The... All right. Shoes on, get up in the morn, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. King Kong, kick the drum. Rolling on like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home. <laughs> Jump up to the top, LeBron. <laughs> Ding dong, call me on my phone. Ice tea and a game of ping pong. Huh. Anyone? Damn. Uh-uh. That is... Is it Kesha? That's definitely Mariah Carey. This is getting uh, heavy. Can you hear the bass boom? I'm ready. Woohoo. Life is sweet as honey. Yeah, this beat cha ching like money. Who can slam it like LeBron, though? That's what I'm Only LeBron. It's got to be. Disco person. overload. I'm into that. I'm good to go. I'm diamond. You know I glow up. Hey, let's go. Oh, uh, le- le- let's go by uh, Lil John and Eastside twins. Because I, I, <laughs> I'm in the stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire, set the night alight. Shining through the city with a little funkin' soul. So I'm going to light it up like blank. Whoa, oh, oh. It's not coming to me. <laughs> Wait, is is that whoa, oh, oh? Does that go whoa, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. whoa, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> This is Dynamite by that Korean boy band. 
<laughs> oh, okay. We're the ones playing obscure songs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that seriously is probably one of the most popular songs that's come out in the last like two years. Yeah, yeah. He's, you're right. Shit. You hear it on commercials but I would have like no crazy. way of knowing that. <laughs> If you heard it, you'd be like, oh, that song. I've heard that yeah. a thousand times. I guarantee you I wouldn't because mm-hmm. I don't listen to radio. Like, unless it's been on movies that I've seen. All right. Pause. Pause. You got pee? No. Oh, is this I'm calling a show. I'm calling a show pause for a quick second. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm you've telling heard, you, you've heard that, dude. There's no way you've not yeah. heard that. <laughs> I've heard it be played like. During sports games and shit, like all right, you watch <laughs> that, sports. Is that might be where I think it's familiar. Yeah, you watch a lot of sports. It's dog. been on like five or six commercials that are like super on all the time, uh, like inescapable. You commercials. know this song, you Jackson. Know it. Yeah. Just that don't might even be lie. Why I don't try lie to, to me. erase it from my memory. Don't lie to me. <laughs> all right. So last song for me then, since no one got that one. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Say it. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Um, I gotta skip a part. We fly in the first class up in the sky, popping champagne, living my life in the fast lane. I won't change by the blank. Ooh, the flossy flossy. The blank. The blank blank. uh, By the blank. Ooh, the flossy flossy. The blank. (laughs) The blank. The blank. uh, by the blank, ooh, the flossy flossy. Wear them golden diamond rings. All them things don't mean a thing. Chaperones mm. and limousines shopping for expensive things. Oh my gosh. I be on the movie screens, magazines, and bougie scenes. I'm not clean. I'm not pristine. I'm in queen. I'm no machine. I still go to Taco Bell, drive through raw as hell. I don't care. I'm still real. No matter how many records I sell. After the show, after the Grammys, I had to go cool out with the family. Sipping and reminiscing on days when I had a Mustang. And now I'm up in first class, up in the sky. <sighs> Wait, it's isn't it Fergie? It's Fergie. Living yeah. my life. Living my life in the fast okay, lane. Okay, Fergie. Fast lane, mother. Fabulous. Dang. I won't change uh, by the... I think, fabulous. I think you got it. No? Close. You're very Glamorous. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was starting to hear the... Glamorous, glamorous. By the blank, blank. <laughs> All, right. Glamour, yes. All right. All right. That's three for me, I guess. Okay. Bo, you want to go next? Uh, yeah. Here's mine. <laughs> Somebody once told me the world was going to rock me. Jackson. <laughs> it's the world was going to roll me. Oh, uh, roll me. <laughs> And that's a Smash Mouth. That's All Star. All Star. I got oh, it. I got the point. You guys, I got the point. You guys, you guys point. Are going back. He's saying, yeah, the band. <laughs> the fucking song band. <laughs> just like last time, Jackson didn't know that was Fergie. He didn't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this point system is all whack. Yeah. Can we all have a piece of the sign? Just take a piece home. <laughs> yeah. <I think laughs> Sawing this in half. Cut a saw. And we'll we'll saw it in half. Yeah. Yes. Cut it. Um. Yeah, man. Kind of like a Mercedes. Three pieces for you guys. You guys each yeah. a slice. But anyway, who's going next? Or what are we doing? Does anyone get the point for that? I don't know. Or what are we? Give the point I to Kanye. I got the point, yeah. Okay. He said the song title. I said all-star. It's all about saying the song title first. Yeah. It's all about song title? Yeah. Yeah. Glamorous. Artist doesn't get you a point. All right. Okay. So we're all clear. <laughs> Here we go. Out along the edges, uh, always where I burn to be. The further on the edge, the hotter the intensity. Heading in, <laughs> heading into twilight, spreading out her wings tonight. She got, she got you jumping off the deck, shoving into overdrive. Overdrive. Over, I keep the, I'm, yeah, I'm damn. And then like it's one of those songs too that says like the name of the song like five hundred times. Ah, hip hop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Revving up your engine, listen to her howling roar, metal under tension, begging you to touch and go. Uh, is this heading into twilight, spreading out her wings tonight? She got you jumping off the deck, shoving into overdrive. This is the best song ever written, in case you guys were wondering. Is it 
box Chevy yellow dr- or yellow wolf. No, it's it's not, it's not even it's not hip it's not hip hop. <laughs> I, I know I've heard the song, but I don't think I've heard it in a while. Out along the edges, always where I'm burning. <laughs> I don't even know how to how that's how they sing that verse. Are you they sing like that in that song? But I don't know if that verse is. Are like you that. a speed wagon or some shit? Always where I burn to be. The further on the edge, the hotter the intensity. Huh. Hmm. Gonna take a ride. Kyle, danger zone? Yeah. Oh Aww. my god, dude. Spreading out her wings tonight. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hear, hearing all of this. Oh my yes. god. Okay. I've got three points. How many points do you guys got? I believe I'm sitting at three, but <laughs> I got a fat one. I have two, but they don't count. They don't count. I'm not going to take the thing back. Oh, okay. I'm not the uh, sharpest tool in the shed, right? <laughs> that's a uh, all star. Yeah, that's all star. Give me a point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right, but one more to decide yeah. the whole thing. Is it? You're not I, gonna, don't <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what are you, the points again? I've got three. Jackson's got three. Connor's got one. Huh. Let's make this next one worth five points so I can win it. Okay, this next one wins it all. Oh shit! What? Make it a hip hop really song that, that I can. Who gives a f- yeah? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next one's worth five points. <laughs> All right, you fuckers. All right. Uh, I feel like I should read it in a weird way. No. Okay. You think that we connect? Hold on. Hold on. I want to take back the five points thing. The next one's worth two points. This gives Connor an opportunity to tie to go You bastard. Yeah. There you go, bastard, Jack. Dude. I like what you're doing. Son of a bitch. I like what you're doing. Like he already this. started reading the lyric before he said no, that. Listen, no, listen. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> you think that we connect, that the chemistry's correct. Your words <sighs> walk right through my ears, presuming I like what I hear. And now I'm stuck in the web you're spinning. You've got me for your prey. Kyle. Sorry. God. Is it Spiderweb? Yeah. Like when? No, no doubt. Oh, shit. Boom. I knew the lyrics. Like, I should have got that. Good <laughs> stuff, Kyle. Good Boom. stuff. Boom. Let's see the going right here. Solid win. <laughs> Give us your best sand person. Like, they ain't holding it above your head. <laughs> <laughs> is that a magnet on the back or what? I don't know. Or is it sticky? Oh, it's sticky, it's right? Sticky. I think it's yeah. Let me, see. Let me see it. It's like a stick. Right, stick it against the wall. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move into some the biggest news from this year. Biggest news that I considered to talk about. Okay. So the biggest one that has been going on all year was the good old Russia attacking Ukraine in February. Yeah. That what I thought was crazy. Putin. Was all the companies that left? Yeah, the the I was looking at a list this morning of all these companies that have left Russia. And it, was, it was staggering, dude. Like um, Hewlett Packard Enterprises, which um, like HP, Microsoft, and IBM owned, IBM owned Red Hat, um, Cisco Systems, McDonald's, PepsiCo, Starbucks, Netflix. That's just a little bit of them. Like the list was so big, dude. Fucking okay, a. Yeah, it's just crazy how many companies have left there. Yep. I'll say this on the podcast: fuck Putin. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck all that. I shit, think. Man. I think you know. Once you know, a lot of the world was modernized. Fuck Putin. Um, oh god. Yeah. Dang. I just feel like once the world was really modernized in a lot of ways and the internet came out and people were able to connect and like tear down a lot of the barriers, I feel like people just don't want war, you know? And yeah. as far as like if you're the instigator, people definitely don't like you. I know that for sure. So it's like, you know, it's, I feel like that's a big part of it. It's like, you know, social media and people connecting and like just seeing all the crazy shit going down, you know? Right. Yeah. I don't blame them for pulling out of Russia. Yeah. Um, NASA confirms the DART mission impact changed the asteroid's motion in space. So NASA fired a little probe satellite thing to try to redirect an asteroid, and they successfully did it. And that's just a crazy moment in our history that we were able to fire something from our planet and change the orbit of something else. Yeah, change the trajectory. Yeah, that's wild. 
There was like some crazy statistic of like something like around like 15 tons of material came off of it when it when the impact hit. Like just like a, a crazy amount. Like I want to say it was like 10 rail cars or I forget the way that it described it, but it was like several rail cars worth of like material, like rock and dust that came off of it. Did they have a, a second satellite looking at it as it hit? Because I've seen like yeah, the satellite they, footage of like from the probe like right before impacts and then it's done. I think a lot of it was like uh, people using telescopes here on Earth to to monitor it. I think mm. that's mainly how a lot of it was done. Um, we also launched the Artemis mission, and that's like our first steps to getting humans back on the moon, which is pretty baller. <laughs> and eventually putting a base on the moon, and eventually. <clears throat> having that as the launch point to get to Mars and a whole bunch of cool stuff that we saw in For All Mankind. Mm -hmm. And NASA's finally like, you know what? That show has a good point. Let's follow their lead because, hell, you know, the show's badass. The show is great. Yeah. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, just a couple details about the Artemis launch mission. Uh, first off, me and Connor had some DNA on those cables that were on that mission. Mm. Good news. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. DNA... Hey, man, there's DNA on there for us packaging <laughs> yeah. those cables. Um, but the launch date was November 16th, 2022. The mission duration was 25 days, 10 hours, and 53 minutes. The total distance traveled was 1.3 million miles. The re-entry speed was 24,500 miles per hour, Mach 32. Splashdown was December 11th, 2022. Pretty baller. <laughs> Very baller indeed. Yeah. Odds are it probably got some type of symbiote attached to it, and whoever touched the probe first got the symbiote on them, and now they're venom running around. Yep. I've seen the movie Life. Yeah. <laughs> I've also seen the movie Species. I'm hoping it's going to go the species way and not the life way. I'd rather have sex than die than get eaten from the inside out. <laughs> right. For sure. A um, couple nerd-type news here. Um, Google Stadia was discontinued. Do you guys know what that is at all? Yeah. Mm -mm. Do you know what it is, Jackson? Was it that video game platform? Yeah, it was the Google's like video game service. They were going to do streaming through the cloud, and you're just going to be able to go on your computer and just pull the game up, which Xbox does it great right now. But uh, that totally flopped and failed. They said it was going to be rock hard and last for a long time. That's what they yeah. all say. That's what they all say. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what everybody wants. Rock hard and last a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no blue pill needed. Yeah. Man, they totally failed. Um, yeah, they just expected everybody to just come to them. They didn't They didn't really uh, market it very well. I hated their commercials. I thought they were just so stupid. No foreplay. Um, yeah, True. just... Yeah, they could have done a lot of things better. You know, they could have had um, like an in-house studio with how much money they've got. It's they Google. should have. They should have had at least three exclusive games when they launched it. So why you didn't do that, I have no idea. Like, there's no reason to get it. Absolutely no reason. They instantly yeah. were like, "Hey, we want to be a Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. We're a player now." And it's like, no, dude, no. You Gamers gotta, see through that. Yeah, you got to make games. You can't just be a platform. Yeah. Gamers already have platforms. They don't want another platform. It's like, come on, man. You got to have us give us a good reason to go to that platform. Yeah. We're already sick and tired of these platform, like all these different platforms fighting with each other over exclusives. We don't need another one. Exactly. Right. Um, Sony bought um, Bungie, the creators of the original creators of Halo and um destiny destiny sony bought them this year for 3.6 billion dollars yeah went from microsoft to sony yeah they were owned by sony they got their independence and they was like ah. they're, owned, they're owned by microsoft and got their independence yeah was that i, I flipped that you flipped there. it yeah yeah, yeah they're owned by microsoft got their independence and then they were like yeah well that's sony bias it's like what are you doing here whatever 3.6 billion is a lot of cheddar to fund all your games and pay your people and it's a lot, but they're probably one of the best studios out there. It's really far as first person shooter stuff. Yeah. Um, Microsoft is in the process right now of trying to buy Activision Blizzard. That was a huge story. Um, the creators of Call of Duty and 
you know, World of Warcraft and so many video games. But that was for 68.7 million or billion, gosh. And Sony is trying to block that at every turn, like fighting them in all types of courts and just giving them all types of bullcrap reasons why they shouldn't be able to buy Activision. And it's wild. Hmm. Yeah. Um, you guys remember the company G4 TV? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they came back this year, had a couple good months, but the company that owns them just decided to cancel them again. And what they didn't do is they didn't give G4 time to grow. You know what I'm saying? They just expected them to instantly have a bunch of people watching G4 again on YouTube and stuff. And they just didn't. I watched it a lot. Um, the new G4 it was on YouTube. And a lot of it, man, was just so... It's just... You could just tell they were trying too hard, man. It just wasn't the same old G4. And the same old G4, I don't think that would work in today's world, man. It was a lot of, like, dick humor and, like, that kind of stuff. And it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't, just a lot of people are just over that kind of stuff, man. You know? I love that shit at the time. Yeah. I, was, I was 13, you know? It was, it was fantastic, but. Yeah. yeah. We were horny 13-year-old kids. We were like, right. yeah, dick jokes. Yeah, and it was a lot of. Every once in a while, see midriff i don't yeah i don't think it's necessarily that i think when i watched it i just thought it was boring you know it yeah. just wasn't good you it know it wasn't good you're right I mean, that's all it was i just why would i go back to something that i didn't like right and you know they had like the old shows on their attack of the show and x play but x play i mean adam sessler he's just an old dude at this point it was just weird and attack of the show <laughs> kevin Pereira. They just didn't feature him enough, and they tried to feature newer people, and it was just wasn't fun. It wasn't good. <laughs> it sucked. Yeah. yeah. Such a bummer, man. But G4 is Re- gone again. There's a reason why it's gone. <laughs> yeah, truly. Um, They announced that Hugh Jackman's coming back as Wolverine for Deadpool yep. 3, which is pretty huge. Damn. Popping yeah. them claws really again. Big. Yeah. There's talks of him maybe actually getting a, a real suit like a more comic accurate suit that'd be somewhere. so cool man that'd be so cool. i like to see it there's a way it can be done in live action and look cool i know right. it right i really hope that this next deadpool movie is like a three-hour movie because i love those deadpool movies man they're good they're just funny supposedly um ryan reynolds said that they have a deadpool christmas special that they've just have written and no one wanted to use it i would love to see what that would be like hmm. you know because that deadpool 2 um, redo once upon a Deadpool. Have you guys seen that? Mm-mm. Yeah, it was pretty good. It's it, just it's a retelling of the first Deadpool, but he's telling what's it's the second Deadpool. It's the second Deadpool. Yeah, it's a retelling of the second Deadpool. Oh yeah, but it's told kind of through the, through the lens of Princess Bride. Yeah, he like he kidnaps uh, what's his name, the kid from Princess the first Princess Bride, Adam makes, Savage. He makes Adam him sit Savage, in the bed and yeah. he starts reading in the store. Or, is it Adam Savage or Ben Savage? Or it's one of the two. It's some it's, Savage. It's, it's, he's not savage. The, it's not the Boy Meets World kid. I think yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's Savage. Yeah, the Wonder Years kid or the Boy Meets World kid. It's the Wonder Years kid. Fred Savage. Fred, Fred Savage. Mm. Adam so. Savage is the guy from MythBusters. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, James Gunn took over DC Universe, like uh, the movie cinematic universe for that. Yeah, and he's already chopping off the heads of people that I wanted to be mainstays. But well, I mean, if you're going to create a whole new universe thing, man, might as well start new. Yeah. The thing was, I was enjoying heads. the Snyderverse. It was it was the people that were above Snyder that were completely fucking up his shit. So yeah, that's. That's all I got to say. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck the people that are running DC, man. I like I like J.J. Abrams, <laughs> but man, they really fucked Zack Snyder. Really fucked. True him. that. They yeah. certainly did. Yeah. <coughs> I'm, I'm just going to say this. <clears throat> like, I love Henry Cavill as Superman. I thought he did a great job. Yeah. But whenever I think of Superman in my head, I think more of the animated series version of Superman, who's like, I don't know. I could say like more like friendlier or more like uh, expressive and open. Whereas Henry Cavill is a little bit more stoic, stoic. Exactly. It just his acting style. Like I could see how a newer, younger Superman would just bring more life into the movie. And I think that's probably why they did that. You know, yeah. mm. just because man, like 
I don't know. He, he's got a certain vibe. I mean, even watching him in like the Witcher or uh, the man from uncle or any of the stuff I like him in, like he's, he's got this it's certain act. Fallout. Yeah. He's got a very certain <laughs> acting style. It's very rigid. And I just think for the character of Superman, you want to show a little bit more than what he's sh- shown so far. I don't know. I think James Gunn will make it fun too. Yeah, for sure. Um, and honestly, I was semi scared of that man. Marvel's already doing that. I just want, I want dark, gritty superhero stuff, and it's like no one's doing it. So, dude, well, maybe, the Batman, right? Yeah, the Batman. Yeah, the Batman. Spawn. But it's like it's the like Spawn get, might have that for you. Yeah, Spawn's been in development hell forever. It'll come out. You wait. Spawn. I've been hearing about that movie for five, six years now. So. Uh, so that's all the the news that I wanted to cover. It's not too many, too much news, but it's just the news that I felt was not too dour or too depressing. Um, also had some Florida man stuff that I thought was pretty funny from the from twenty twenty two that I oh, thought was right. the craziest. Best mm. of Florida man. Yeah. Um, it's mainly just two of them. <laughs> two of them. So there was a Florida man. People saw a, a, a naked Florida man. On top of an 18 wheeler going down the highway. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Nice. Standing, laying flat. I think he was just standing up. Nice. Think he was in a Matrix? <laughs> he was, I says, was thinking Morpheus for sure. <laughs> it, no, it says he was riding on the back of, of an 18 wheeler naked. Nice. So he's holding on to the back of the door. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds more accurate. <laughs> I wonder what a man's private parts would look like, like flying in 70 mile per hour wind. Nah. wonder how long he had to hold on. That's the... Yeah. Sometimes they the, don't stop for a few hours. It's like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember hearing like some story that some dude like got caught in some kind of like rope or something like that, like while a plane was going off and it just took off. The plane was like, I don't know he's there. But yeah, he had to go the entire flight just holding on for dear life and whenever he, they finally landed he couldn't let go <laughs> it was like me whenever i was hanging from the freaking bar for like two minutes straight and then as soon as i let go of it i couldn't put my arm down it was stuck up in the air <laughs> touchdown <laughs> field goal um another one here um a florida man was pulled over his driver's side tires were both deflated Upon inspection, they found out that he was driving on the rims. When they asked him about his car's lack of tires, he told the deputies that someone had put a curse on him and that the missing tires were from hitting the curb too hard. He was given, he went on to say that he was given a do or die choice in which he he could either drive home without tires or set the car on fire and sleep on the median. (laughs) Someone put a curse on me. That is paranormal activity. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty the good. The ending to that was... <laughs> <laughs> that is paranormal activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking at these stories and those two stuck out. I'm like, okay, that's, that's quality right there. Pretty good. Um, so that's all I have for, for news. Do you guys have any like newsworthy topics you thought from this year that you can remember that you thought was crazy? Hmm. We finally got to take our masks off this year and I think it went pretty well, right? Wasn't it that beginning of this year we... Was it? I think so. I don't know, man. It's or was that last like year? Freaking blur. <laughs> it does feel like a blur. I don't know. I feel like last year was when everyone was like, all right, ease up, ease up. And you had like half and half. And then now when you walk around, it's very clear. It's like, okay, one out of a hundred people will be wearing a mask now. Yeah, I think it might have just been our work finally decided to let us not wear a mask this year. I think because like a lot of places were like good to go last year around this time. Yeah. And then our work was like, no, hold off. That's also like a thing with just where we're at, you know. I bet mm-hmm. there's probably places in the United States that are like, nah, still wear that mask, son. Right. If yeah. you come in here, we will punch you if you don't have a mask. Right. Portland, stuff like that. Of course. Yeah. 
Um, I don't even know if Portland's like that. I'm over here trying to think of you, new stories. <laughs> they will punch you in Portland. Yeah. The Portland punchers, they call Did them. you guys see mm-hmm. that uh, that big concrete beam get hit by that train the other day? <laughs> no. That it was like a hundred and like thirty five foot um, concrete beam that got st- uh, they were stopped at like a light, but since it was so long, it was still in the middle of like a train track thing. Yeah, and yeah, this this uh, train just plows right into it, dude. Oh, ends up derailing shit. the train, but it pushes it about I don't know fifty hundred feet before it derails the train. It just like it's a crazy explosion. Fuck around, man. pretty pretty gnarly. I've always wanted to see two train engines at. Full speed as fast as I can, just like collide with each collide. other. Collide, that'd be sweet. I've always wanted to see it. I was like, I bet that'd be really cool. Yeah, but real cool. Was that part in Bullet Train where doesn't one train shoot up over another? Oh man, I can't remember. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. Well, uh, <laughs> that's all for the news, guys. Let's go ahead and move into Yo, dude, check this out. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Oh, you haven't heard that before? Yeah, you haven't heard Whoa. that yet? Times are changing around here. Well, yeah, check this one Connor, out. Connor, he complained there was too many horns, so I made another one. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, fuck you, Connor. This is the track. Yo, dude. <laughs> it's a fan favorite. People love it. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. So who wants to get us started? I'll get us started. All right. All right. Yo, dude, Not check this wants. out. Steven Spielberg on the set of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade asked all the extras that are in the background doing the Nazi salute. He asked them all to also cross their fingers behind their backs. Yeah, I remember hearing something like that. Dang. Yeah. Like, okay, that's a nice little nugget. That, like, kind of funny. Huh. Like, hey, uh, you know, I'm having you guys do some real racist shit right now. Some real, like, I don't know if I'd say racist. What's the word here? I mean, I don't know. That's I mean, probably a good that, word. That is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty good. Racist. Ac- accurate, uh, 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 there's another word. Like anti-Semitic or whatever. Yeah, yeah. anti-Semitic, whatever. You know, all those, all those fucked up things. But, hey, while you're doing that, cross your fingers, babe. <laughs> you know, I want you guys to have a heavy conscience. Uh, yeah, dude, check this out. Um, Tory Lanez, which is a dude, um, found guilty in 2020 of shooting Megan the Stallion in the foot. I don't know. I guess uh, he was pleading not guilty. Uh, apparently, he had a unregistered firearm. Um, they were, I guess, having an argument or something. She gets out of the car and it, it, he accidentally shoots her in the foot. So, uh, yeah, it's crazy. My grandpa shot my uncle in the foot. Yeah, right. surprising. Yeah. So apparently, getting shot in the foot is a very common thing. Uh, with people that are just not good with guns, apparently. Yeah, as far as I never heard anything about that. Huh. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of news stories about that Megan the Stallion getting shot on uh, trial thing. Yeah. Dude yeah. was found guilty, though. Did she have a song Same. about it yet? Probably. <laughs> shot in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. Um, today I learned that only five triple rainbows have ever been recorded to science in the last 250 years. Many scientists believe, or my bad, many scientists had written them off as myths, but the first photographic proof of a triple rainbow finally appeared in 2011. Hmm. Wow. And that's when it was first published. I wonder how much of that's like a mirror effect. I've seen the double rainbow. I've never seen the triple rainbow. I have seen a double rainbow. A triple. Ooh. Yeah. Rainbows are cool, mm-hmm. man. Sure, are, man. Sure. Are. What's crazy is sometimes you can see the ending of a rainbow. Like if there's like mountains and shit like that, you can see the ending of the rainbow. But even if you go there, there's no pot of gold. <laughs> hmm. huh. And the color stops. Maybe it's buried. Or maybe somebody probably got to it before you did. Oh my God, it's <laughs> buried. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, Bo? Uh, so, yo, dude, check this out. I'm ill-prepared for this, but I did find something cool. I didn't really find something cool, but I saw something in that I remembered seeing. Did you guys hear about, um, like, there's finally, like, a, a net energy gain on, like, that uh, fusion reactor? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very cool. Pretty wild shit, man. <laughs> That's, have you guys actually seen, like, I watched this big thing about it 
um, about like that reactor being built, and it's like a. I don't know if you guys have seen anything about it, like the building of it or uh-uh. anything like that. But uh, it's, yeah, a bunch of different countries from around the world got together because it's ridiculously big and obviously super expensive. And mm-hmm. I don't know. It looks it's like a superheated donut whenever it's actually going. But, yeah, it's a, obviously a really big deal if they can actually replicate this for, I imagine, some sort of exponentially lower cost. That would probably be a big, a big deal as far as <laughs> lower we, cost where, for them, not where for we got us. energy from, you know. Mm hmm. That's how the world really works is lower cost for them, but not for us. Yeah, you so. guys really should, or anybody listening should really check that out. Like just like the building of it and just the operation of it's fucking wild, man. It's, I don't know. It's just like a little supercharged. Like what is that? Collider? Yeah. I forgot what that's called. Hadron? Hed- yeah, you're saying whatever. it right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. CERN. Sim- seemingly just a really condensed yeah, version of that. And just, so but anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> I'm surprised it's taken him this long. Tony Stark built this thing in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of scraps. <laughs> well, that was an arc reactor, Jackson. Or a bunch of scraps. <laughs> shout well, out to, uh, shout out to Jeff Bridges. Anyway, yep. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, this is the last episode of the year. Yeah, episode sixty-six. Mm-hmm. Pick up sticks. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't know. Happy New Year, everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good Christmas, y'all. Yep, we're recording this on Christmas Eve. Hope you had a good Kwanzaa if you celebrate that. Feliz Navidad. Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Big big shout out to Hanukkah. Yeah. Um, To people that are like hardcore atheists and are like, no, we don't do any Christmas stuff at all. We just sit in silence and look at a candle. Hope you have a. (laughs) Hope they have a good. We hope you have a good candle. (laughs) That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do, man. You know, can't hate. Hey, that's a can't good hate. meditation, man. Staring at a flame. Believe yeah. it or not, that's really good meditation. I do that a lot in my room with my hand over the flame, <laughs> <laughs> just to feel something. Right? Sounds like witchcraft, yeah. but all right. Yeah. But, no, I just want to feel something. <laughs> I just want to feel alive. <laughs> yeah. Drip that. <laughs> drip that hot wax all over you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got the wrong window again, man. <laughs> well, uh, Bo, thank you for joining us this week, man. Thank you for this awesome Kobe squad. Kobe squad. Oh, so cool. Kobe squad. So cool. Kobe squad. And you said you had more of those, but they just haven't come in the. Yeah, they're yeah. prints, and it's of a different picture. Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah. Sick. So, I'll take it. Boom. All right. Well, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and thank you for crashing with friends. We'll see you all next week. Peace. Later. Crashing with friends. Podcast.